All right, so in this tutorial, we're going to talk a little about uh, different types of erasers that you can use when you're drawing, and of course, <laughs> the right way and wrong way to um, use erasers. So uh, I typically, when I'm drawing, uh, have three types of erasers. Uh, each one, of course, a different tool for a different kind of role. Um, I have a Pentel uh, pen eraser. And it's different from some of the ones that you might see. Uh, this one has got a really, really thin, thin uh, eraser tip that goes into it. Um, it's so that I can get some nice kind of uh, detail erasing going on. Also use a vanish eraser. Um, vanish eraser is, in my opinion, one of the best erasers on the market in terms of being able to cleanly erase all my pencil lines, like everything that uh, you know, I use it frequently. And um, I find that it's a really good um, eraser in terms of completely erasing every single line as much as possible that uh, a scanner, when I go to scan in my work, it doesn't show up on my work. And then finally, we have uh, what they call a kneaded eraser or a rubber, uh, rubber eraser. This one's gray. I find that they make them in all kinds of colors now. I don't know why, but um, they do. And uh, it doesn't matter what color you get, they all basically do the same thing. And this uh, eraser serves two values. So it comes in a little square like this, but uh, when you get it, um, it uh, once you unwrap it, uh, it becomes like Play-Doh. And so you can knead it and stretch it and squish it. Um, this is good for two things. When you've inked an image, uh, and you want to erase any excessive pencil lines, this is really good for that because uh, these rubber erasers, um, as good as they are, will sometimes rub off some of the surface ink and you're going to have to adjust it like in Photoshop or something like that um, to uh, get it to be black again. Um, whereas with these little uh, kneaded erasers, uh, they don't take off that surface ink as much. And then the other really good thing about these guys is that because they're, you know, kneaded, um, erasers, meaning that I can change its shape to whatever I want it to be. I can get it down um, to small, small little points if I want to. If there's uh, parts on a drawing that you know is smaller than these little, you know, Pentel pens, I can get it into a smaller point and just erase uh, targeted areas. And then finally the right way and wrong way, regardless of which of these erasers that you use. Um, I see students, when they start out, um, they erase by rubbing on the paper, and that's what you want to try to avoid, actually. Um, the heat and friction that you build up on the surface of the paper is what causes your paper to crunch. And the thinner the paper, the quicker it's going to crunch. And you guys all kind of know what I'm talking about. To avoid that, you want to not build up friction and not build up uh, heat onto the surface of your paper. And also, that kind of vigorous rubbing uh, dulls the surface of your nice bristle, and then um, your inks bleed on, uh, through your bristol a lot easier. So, what I usually recommend, again, the way I was taught, uh, and this is the same way Mr. Carney taught me in uh, art school, uh, was that you erase and lift, erase and lift. So you brush and you don't do this rub, 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 rub thing. You brush and lift and lift off the paper. And so that way you're, it's giving the per, uh, paper, it doesn't give the paper an opportunity to heat up and give friction that causes um, your paper to kind of crunch. You know, if you're like erasing in little bitty areas and stuff like that, it's not going to do anything, but it's like massive erasing. Um, you just want to just be disciplined about it and just erase and lift, erase and lift, erase and lift. And uh, another thing about erasing is uh, sometimes you're going to want to have wear an artist's glove, uh, one of those two-finger gloves. I'll show you a little bit more about that when we go into inking and things like that and drawing in general. Um, but uh, when you brush your paper off, if you don't have one of those gloves on or if you don't have like a, a sheet of paper between you and your pencils or your inks, you, as you guys all know, you get that pencil lead on the side of your fingers and your hands. And so when you go to brush all the eraser shavings off, you're actually smudging your pencil that's on your hand. You're actually smudging it and making your work actually even dirty. And all that erasing that you just did was almost for nothing. So uh, that's my recommendations in terms of erasing. 
uh, tools that I use when I race that I would recommend and um, of course more importantly the right way and the wrong way to erase your drawings.